Firefighters are still trying to figure out just what started the fire that destroyed the old Yonkers building last Saturday. But they are getting a lot of help from the public. Police and federal investigators had requested people send in their photos and videos of the fire to help with the investigation. So far, they've received as many as 500 items to sift through, but they are still looking for more. Call Des Moines Police or Polk County Crime Stoppers at 223-1400 if you have a picture or video of interest. And almost a week later, firefighters still can't believe that nobody was killed or seriously hurt in the fire and subsequent building collapse. Especially when you hear the stories of their first few minutes on the scene, stories that they shared with our Eric Hansen today. Eric? Kevin, the first firefighters on scene say they didn't realize they were walking into a building that was ready to collapse. And once they found out, they had only seconds to drop everything and run. 701 Wall, the old Jasper's building. We were first, in, first on the scene. The whole two top floors looked like they were rolling pretty good, heavy fire. We were going to go up there and put the fire out. That's what I thought we were going to do. Initially, we encountered a gate that was padlocked. Uh, we attempted to uh, bust the lock off with our hand tools. Uh, that didn't work. And it was one of the toughest locks I ever tried to cut up. And actually worked in our favor because it took a long time to cut that lock. You have to look and observe everything. I mean, if there's a rat that runs across the floor, you better see it. Fire debris and embers raining down to the first floor. I had the three firefighters and medics that were with me stay there, and I went on up to the fifth floor. At that point, I heard truck one say the roof has went in, and I heard a series of booms. Hearing that boom, it was time to go. As soon as I heard them, I thought the floors were were pancaking down. At that point, I had the crew drop their equipment, and we just ran out of the building. I thought we were going to die, but we made it out. Our engineer, I like to mention this, uh, Brandon Hutchison, was almost in tears because he thought he had lost his crew. With the amount of difficulty we had getting in, I'd say it took us five to ten minutes to get in, which obviously helped because otherwise we would have could have possibly been up higher when the boom started. We'd have been on that floor that collapsed. I thank God that we all made it out. Those firefighters say the size of that fire had their spouses crying out of fear when they, that they might not be coming home. And once they finally did go home to rest, those firefighters couldn't sleep thinking how close they came to losing their fellow firefighters. But it's also drawn those stations closer together as firefighters, as firefighters since, since they survived something so stressful. Yeah, when you see those pictures, it's amazing to know nobody got hurt. They're so thankful. Eric, thank you.